Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and today I'm creating two masculine cards for the Team Tiny Hop for June. So I'm just showing you some of the supplies I'm using for my first card. I'm going to do a double stenciling technique and I'm using Distress Oxide in Tumbled Glass and Salty Ocean. So I'm going to take this first stencil which is from a Colorful Life Designs and I'm going to adhere it to this sea glass cardstock which is from Simon Says Stamp. I got a variety pack in one of the um, card kits recently so I've been enjoying using all of these colors. This is a full A2 size panel and I'm just using some painter's tape to adhere that to the back of this and I'm going to take the tumbled glass distress oxide and just put this all around this um, square shape or rectangle shape excuse me um, it does have like some torn edges it gives it that kind of ripped paper look without having to have extra layers so once I get that ink all put down I'm going to take that multiple circle stencil and I can't remember the company that this came from I have a few shapes from this type of stencil in my stash. So I'm just gonna take some more painter's tape and lay it on the top and adhere it to the top, the bottom stencil and kind of my desk so that it doesn't shift. And then I'm gonna take that Salty Ocean Distress Oxide and cover that square. I can kind of see underneath that stencil where the where this rectangle is underneath so that I don't end up inking all over this stencil and I'm not actually getting it on the paper. And then once I lift this away, I'm going to take a little sentiment strip sticker that says happy birthday. This was also from a card kit from a while ago. It was in one of the Simon Says Stamp kits. And just adhere that down. And then I will adhere the entire panel to an A2 size card base. So while I'm doing that, I just figured I would tell you a little bit about Team Tiny. We get together every month to do a hop with a particular theme. This month we went with masculine cards and we are a group of card creating or paper crafting YouTubers who have channels that are less than a thousand subscribers. So our goal is to try to grow our channel. I will leave a link to the group down below and if you wanted to join us, you could um, do so if you have a channel that's less than a thousand subscribers we do ask that you answer the questions or we will not accept you into the group so that it is a requirement <clears throat> in order to be there so that we can check your information and make sure that we are you know setting up people who ha actually have youtube channels so if you have any questions feel free to leave me um you know leave that down below and I will do my best to answer them for you I hope that you'll check out everyone in the hop and see what they've created I do enjoy seeing um, how everyone interprets the theme and what they come up with for their project uh, so back to this card I'm just taking some of the barely arts glue and going to adhere that down to this panel and that is going to finish this card and then the second card is actually the card that I made for the residents in the nursing facility that I work in. Every year I make Mother's Day cards and Father's Day cards. So this was the design that I went with this year for the Father's Day cards. I took this um, embossing folder from my stash and did that on some light blue paper and I already have it adhered to a card panel because this just happened to be an extra that I had with the count that I had already submitted to work. So I'm just gonna take this scallop circle, I believe it's a two inch, maybe two and a half inch scallop circle and punch that out of some blue cardstock. And then I'm gonna trim this down into a strip of one inch. And I'm not quite sure how wide the paper is, but I'm just gonna trim this down to a one inch section and I will cut it in half and then I will trim off some of the end because it doesn't need to be very long because what I'm doing is making a blue ribbon so that um, the tails aren't sticking off the edge of the card. So I'm just going to take my scissors and roughly cut this in half because it'll be behind that scallop circle so you're not going to see it. Then I put them together and just take off a hunk. And then I'm going to make a flag banner on the end of each one. And how I do this is just cut a slit through the center and then meet 
from each end into the middle and that gives you a banner. If you have a one inch square punch, you could also line up the corner of it to get the same look if you have a hard time doing it this way. And then I'm gonna take and take that uh, scallop circle and this is an old retired Stampin' Up stamp set. I don't have a lot of stamp sets that actually have Father's Day sentiments in them. Um, so I'm taking my foam pad out because this is a red rubber stamp so I don't need the foam pad in there. And this sentiment says Happy Father's Day. So I'm just gonna line this up. For the cards that I made for work, I did heat emboss it with white embossing powder, but today I'm using the Uncharted Mariner ink so that I can stamp that down a couple of times to get a good impression. And then I will take this out and adhere the banners to behind it using the art, not art killer, the Barely Arts glue um, to both sides to kind of evenly have those sticking out. And then I will coat the back of it with the glue and adhere it down to the panel and that is going to be the projects that I've made for today. Like I said, I hope that you will check out everyone who's participating in the hop. It varies the number of people that we have that join us. It could be just a few. It could be up to 15 typically. Um, it is a hashtag driven hop. So the hashtag that is in the title of my video and the description of this video, if you click on it, it should bring up the entire list of people who are participating. Sometimes you do have to scroll through a couple of odd videos to get to more of the participants at the bottom. I'm not quite sure why YouTube's been doing that lately. Um, so make sure you scroll to the end or a little ways down to make sure that you have reached everyone. Um, I hope that you find a creator that you enjoy and you will subscribe to their channel. If you have any questions or projects that you'd like to see me make, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.